Hi guys, my name is Joanne. I'm from the Ridgeview location in Olathe, Kansas, and I want to help you with a little bit of flexibility today because I'm sure that some of us are sitting a little more often than we're used to at the moment. So in terms of equipment, all you need is some kind of a strap, a belt, anything with length is going to do, you find what's going to work best for you. And then the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is set your feet here, right underneath your hips for a good solid foundation. We'll take and fold in half whatever you're using and grab it about shoulder width apart. And then I want a little bit of twisting going on. A little activation in that spinal rotation for mobility. You want to breathe through the work that you do. Come back to the center. We're going to reach up and lean back. Pull back down. Inhale, big lift. Exhale, lower. Reach up and pull down. This time we're going to lift up and we're going to stay here. Maybe a little bit of a back bend. Release, come down. Bend your knees and your hips. Set your elbows on your thighs. I want you to round out your spine, and then drop it down and look up. I'll show you from the side. We're going to round out, and then drop down and look up. Exhale. Inhale. Now roll all the way up to the top. Roll your shoulders back and around for me. Then I want you to take this to the top. We're reaching up this time as we do a little twist one side and then the other. I'm keeping my feet planted on the ground, keeping my toes pointing straight forward. Breathe, exhale, and inhale. Stay here in the center. Lean back again for me. And release. Go ahead and set the strap down for a moment. We're going to reach one arm up. One arm pushes back through. Stand up tall and then just switch, alternating one side and the other. Keep thinking about pushing it back without bending your back, right? Still up tall and proud. Crown of the head, reach into the sky. Reach both arms up to the top and then I want you to float them down and float them back to the sky. Down you go. Inhale up. Exhale down. This time all the way up to the top, we'll grab a hold of the wrist, tip to one side, pressing your hips sideways into this creates that C shape. Your rib gets lifted off of your hip. Breathe. Good. We'll slide our body over to the other side. Shoulder away from here, but try and lengthen out the arm. Excellent. Come back up. Arms come down. Feet just slightly wider. This time a heel is going to lift. I want you to do some twist and twist. A little bit more mobility happening for your spine, also working into your hips. So breathing as you go. Come back to the center, set your feet, and turn and look over one shoulder. Stand up a little bit taller. Excellent. Come around to the other side. And again, up tall and proud. Release and come back to the middle. I'm going to ask you to take your right foot and step it forward just a little bit here. I'll turn and show you. Just a tiny little step forward is all that I need. Chest is lifted up. Hands to hips. I want you to rock your hips back and let your toes in the front lift up. Then come back up. Hips forward. Back heel lifts off the ground. Again, pull this back through. And then push it forward as you look up a little bit. Pull your hips and then press your hips. Exhale, inhale. One more time. Think about lengthening your spine. Come up, 
Now we're going to sit back into this and stay. So toes are lifted, spine is long. The more I can pull my hips back, the more I'm going to feel a stretch on the back of my straightened leg. So one leg is extended, the other one is bent. Breathe. We're going to take our front toes. We're going to rotate them out and pull them in. Outward and inward. Rotate and reset. Let's rotate our toes outward and hold. Make sure your body doesn't start floating on you. Come right back here to center line. Excellent. Toes come to the center and then they're going to come across the body line and set down. It'll look a little different for each of us. Our hips pull back. We're working on keeping this leg straight and keeping our torso right here in the middle. And it has a tendency to want to float sideways. We want to reset. Excellent. Come up. And it's time for the other side. So again, the other foot's going to step forward just a little bit. Stand tall, hands on hips. Hips pull back. You want to lift your front toes. Then as you come forward and press your hips forward, your back heel lifts off the ground. Again, pull back through then press it forward. Exhale. Inhale. Keep moving. Right? Movement creates mobility. This time we'll sit back in and we'll stay. Toes lifted. Spine long, right? You're trying to pull the crown of your head away from your hips as you pull your hips back. Shoulders away from ears. I want you to take your front toes. I want you to rotate them out and in. Twist it out and twist it back in. Keep breathing. This time the toes turn out and hold for a moment. Working on a solid foundation, this one foot of yours is flat on the ground, solidly planted. Our toes come back to the center and then rotate across and set down. Again, hips back, body right here, midline. I know this one feels a little bit funky in your hip, but it's good for you. Release and come up. We're going to step our feet out wide. Up tall and proud, toes pointing forward, and then start moving our hips side to side. So one of your legs is bent while the other one is straight. You're pulling your hip not just over, but also over and back. Good. I'm going to have you come to your right side, chest up, hip down. Notice that I've moved both of my hands to my bent leg. Both sets of toes are still pointing straight forward. You can stay like this, or you can turn and look up over your right shoulder towards the sky. Excellent. We're going to come over to the other side. Settle in. Chest up. Hip down and through. And then I turn and look up over the shoulder as an option. Good. Coming back to the middle, we're going to fold forward. I'm going to grab my opposite elbows, drop my head, and then I get to swing my torso side to side like a pendulum and a clock. Come to the middle and hold. Then roll up. Turn your heels in and your toes out, up tall. Your hips drop down and lift up. So this is a mobility squat. Think about rolling your thighs outward as you do this.
Now, settle down in and stay. So here's the deal. We can stay here. If you want to go a little bit lower, that's fine, as long as you don't drop forward. Keep our chest up and let our hips feel the opening that they need. Breathe. You can wiggle it side to side a little bit if that feels good for you. And then come up. Feet come in a little bit. And then I want you to turn your toes inward. Lift up and tip forward. You can release your hands and let your head and neck hang. So that inward rotation of your toes is going to work on pulling your hips back in line. And roll up. Shake it out a little bit. So why do we need to worry about rolling our hips back in line? Because a lot of us stand in the grocery store or on our phone or whatever with feet turned outward. So we want to try and work on getting back to a good neutral position. Our step's going to be a little bit bigger this time. So take a nice big step here. Notice, nice big step is where I'm going for. Chest comes up. I want you to set your back heel down as your toes lift and then pull your back heel off the ground. Push back through, arms are going to reach up this time. So I want you to press back, lift tall. Press through, reach up. Reach up to the sky and stay. Now, I'm going to start to bend my knees to sink down in. It's possible that I'm going to decide I need a bigger step to do that. As I drop into this and tuck my tailbone under, I'm going to open up my hip, right, that front hip pocket, that hip flexor. If you don't like the arms up in the air, it's not required. You might want to bend your knees more if you need to sink deeper to get a deeper stretch. And release. Excellent. We're going to switch legs. So remember, bigger step this time. You're going to lift your back heel and then lift your front toes. Lift, press back through. Inhale, exhale. So working on flexibility also means working on mobility, movement. Good movements for the body. So we're going to reach up tall this time and stay. Again, if I need a bigger step, I can take it. Bending knees, coming down in. Tucking your tail under, pulling your rib up off of your hip is going to help you. Breathe. Feel your hip opening up. That's really important if we've been doing a lot of sitting. And release. Nicely done. All right, guys. Take an inhale up. Then I want you to drop your right arm down. Reach and lean. Pressing the hip in. Feel the rib cage lift up and over. Try and keep your bicep above your ear. You don't let it fall forward. And reach low and strong. I'm going to add a little twist. So I'm keeping my hip back, rolling my shoulder forward, and reaching across. Excellent. We come up, we sweep our arm back behind us, following with our gaze for a twist. And release. Good. Inhale up. This time, left arm drops, right arm reaches, and we develop that C shape of the body to open the side of our body. A reminder to breathe through. I've still got my toes both pointing straight forward. Time to add a little turn down into it. So hip stays back, shoulder 
comes forward and you reach across.
breathe. I'm going to turn down into this a little bit. And release. We'll switch sides. So, foot goes behind. Front knee bends even though the back one stays straight. Reach up, slide your hips sideways, and then lean over to the right, reaching fingertips away from you. And breathe. Again, I'm going to have you take your right foot and put it behind your left one, front knee bending. This time, pull your hips back as your chest comes down. Draw the crown of your head away from your hips and breathe. So again, foot goes behind, crossing ankle to ankle, front knee softens, and then hips pull back as your chest draws down. You can use your hands to push your hips back a little bit if that helps you for a better stretch. Release and come up. We're going to take our arms out nice and wide here. I want you to sweep them in and out a little bit. Breathe as you go. Good. Open these arms out all the way. Shoulders away from ears. We're going to do a little twisting inside your shoulder joint, inside that socket. So how far you twist is going to be up to what your body is okay with. It'll look a little different on each of us, and that's okay. Turn your palms up to the sky, shoulders down, and press your arms back. Open your chest line up. Good. Bring your hands forward, interlock, turn your palms away, and drive your shoulder blades apart. So I want to avoid the forward drop. It's an opening on my back that I'm looking for. My knees can soften a bit. Open up here for me. I want you to slide your arms down, palms back, and press back through. Keep breathing. Good. Hands come forward, interlock. This time the palms are going to face you. Again, we're going to pull our shoulder blades apart on our back. And then I want you to treat your hands like a steering wheel. Turn the wheel to one side and hold. Breathe. Turn it to the other side and hold, pressing your arms away from you. Bring it back to the center, flip the palms, press them all the way up to the sky. And then forward fold, come all the way down. Again, we're going to relax our head and neck and then hang our body deep. It's going to feel a little bit different on each of us, but I do want you to think about keeping your heels grounded. You might even think about pressing your heels into the floor as you roll your tailbone up towards the sky. Excellent. Reach all the way up. Back bend. Stand up nice and tall. Arms are going to pull open again. This time I want you to slide down just a little bit, press back through a little more, and lift your chest up to the sky. Chest comes up. I'm going to ask you to bring your hands together behind you and pull straight down. You might 
can also try and pull your hands off of your body if that feels a little bit better for you. If you would like to drop your chin towards your chest, that's an option. Relax that just a little, and then I want you to take both hands and head and bring them over to the same side. Shoulders pulling away from your ears. Take it over to the other side. And release. We're going to sit ourselves in again. This time, instead of elbows on top, I want you to actually try and grab, grab a hold of the back of your legs where you might even connect hand to hand. Then, round out your spine. Feel your vertebrae opening up, separating. Release and roll all the way up to the top for me. We need to step your right foot a little bit forward and a little bit over with your toe pointing out. Now, press that knee, rock back through. Press and pull. One more like this. Stand back up. Take a bigger step. Go ahead and bend your knee. Take your arm. Reach across. Open up. Twist and open. Back leg is straight. Front knee is bent. One more time. Excellent. Step up and out. We're going from the other side. So we started a little first, right? Knee bends, pull back, toes up, press the toes down, lift the toes up, press, pull. Last one like this, bigger step, knee bends, these toes are pointing forward, these are on an angle. Now, long and strong, I want you to take your arm, reach across, and open up. One of your legs is bent, the other one is straight. We want to exhale, inhale, twist, and open. One more time. Good. We step up and out, find a center line again. Arm across, instead of letting the ear become, you know, connected to the shoulder. I want you to pull the shoulder away from your ear and then help the arm come across. If you want your hand to grab a hold, that's okay. The main thing is you got a hand that's helping pull your arm around to open up right behind your shoulder blade. Good. Let's try the other side. Shoulder down as you pull across. Good. Reach out and open. Inhale up. We're going to exhale. Forward fold again. We're going to find length in the body. Roll yourself up to the top. Take your right hand. Press as you extend. Right, Do a little flex. So we extend the wrist away from you as your fingers come up and slide your hand a little bit out. Your head is going to tip away from your arm. Breathe. Good. We're going to go for the other side. So again, flex. Drive it a little bit further away from you. Really elongate your arm and then pull your head away from your hand. And release. 
nicely done, guys. You did a great job. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We really do miss you in the gym, and we cannot wait until we can be together again working out. But in the meantime, this is going to be our together. All right? Have a good day, guys.